for everybody that is going through this right now who don't have it or don't know that they have it, how do you protect yourself? The best way to protect yourself, man, is, uh, you know, practice social distancing. I know that's just, you know, out there to the tremendous degree, but you got to, you know, keep yourself distant from other people because, like I said before, you don't know if you're infecting them. Even if you have no symptoms, you don't know you're sick or not. That's the whole reason why we need to do that. We need to obviously maintain our hygiene, wash our hands. Um, other things that people can do to protect themselves, um, almost like prophylaxis, you know, take vitamin C, um, you know, take NAC, uh, you know, which, which brings up your glutathione levels, antioxidants, you know, in your body. Um, you know what I'm saying? Ginger is good. You know, you try that. Black seed, certain things that people can do just outside of just any prescription. Okay, because you always hear about you know, vitamins, vitamin yeah. C, you've heard black I seed promote, oil. I always promote that stuff too. Okay. I'm but, not I'm not one of those doctors that's just only what's on the prescription pad. Okay, but is there actual medical evidence that these things are blocking it or slowing it down? No, not in particular. I think for any medication or any supplement that's being used for coronavirus, there's not enough cases or studies at this particular moment in time for us to say that it's a proven treatment. Okay. Now this is sort of the question that I think are is on a lot of people's minds right now. First of all, the gloves. Yeah. Do you recommend that people wear gloves or not? Um, I recommend it. Um, you know, I don't always use the gloves, but I mean, it's just protecting yourself from, you know, anything that's on surfaces because they, they put a lot of emphasis on surfaces having the virus and you could pick it up off surfaces. But as long as you're washing your hands regularly, I don't think you necessarily need to wear them. Okay, because you hear stories of like, you shouldn't wear gloves because the virus can get on the glove and it sticks more to the glove than flesh. And then you basically have more of a chance of carrying it around and also taking it on and putting it off. You know, right. people don't really know I mean, how to do I that mean, properly. I mean, I think, I think either or. I, I, don't, I haven't heard anything about the glove versus the hand, but the bottom line is, you know, you want to constantly maintain your hygiene. That's why I wash my hands repeatedly. And yeah. I, feel, I feel like that's probably the best way to do it. The other thing is even with the mask, because a lot of people ask questions about, should I be wearing a mask when I go outside? Um, you know, in the hospital, it's funny, when I, when I go in the hospital, they advise the medical staff not to wear the mask on floors that are non-COVID. Why is that? You know, um, the reason for that is because, you know, if you're going into a room that has a COVID positive or a COVID rule out, you put the N95 mask on, and then you go to a regular floor with that same mask on, because we don't have enough masks in the hospital. Mm. So if you're taking, you're reusing the same mask, and I think that's one of the reasons they say that when a physician passed away in New Jersey is because he was reusing the same mask over and over again. So he's like getting contamin, he's getting that contaminant, whatever's on his mask, out there, you know. Okay, and the N95 masks, those are the ones that kind of seal around your right. face. They have a tight that that that's what differentiates them from the regular surgical mask. Okay, but th there's a couple of there's N95, and then there's something else. Um, that N95 is the main mask that, that's being recommended okay. right now. Now, what about like the regular mask that- The surgical mask? The surgical mask. I does, mean, the surgical mask, it does help. Um, obviously, you know, it doesn't have the tight seal that the N95 mask has, but it still will, you know, be, you know, help prevent some of the uh, virus from getting on you. Okay, so it's better than nothing. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so you suggest when people go outside, when they go to the grocery store or whatever, they should wear gloves and they should wear a mask or? The gloves, you know, that's this, if they want to take that extra precaution, they can. And that new thing that you're telling me about the gloves in, I mean, I, I recommend mostly the mask, just the surgical mask is fine for you to wear. But more importantly, it's if you feel like you might have it or that you've been around it and that you might be contaminating other people is when you should really wear the mask in public. Okay. The more, most important thing is to you protect keep other your people distance. from you yourself. Your, the most important thing is you keep that distance from people.